All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's Friday, August 2nd. Uh, we got 15 MLB games on the slate today. I'm gonna come back with three plays in this video. Um, today's not off to the greatest start with the Cardinals money line at the moment, not looking the best, down five to one, but let's see if we can get back on the right track with these later plays. Also, yesterday was a good day. We went two out of three. Um, some wild finishes in those games yesterday with the Cubs and the Cardinals game ending the way it did. And then that Rockies Angels game ending crazily as well. Um, pretty exciting stuff. Anyways, let's uh, get right into these picks for today. I'm going to be breaking down three picks that I ended up playing. First game I ended up betting was the Boston Red Sox visiting the Texas Rangers. Pitching matchup for that one is Cutter Crawford against Jose Ureña. Cutter Crawford has looked pretty good this year. Um, 122 innings pitched, 1.08 whip, ERA at about 3.6. The strikeouts are there, walks are low. I like what I've seen from Cutter Crawford. And the Rangers have really struggled against right-handed pitching in the last three weeks. Rangers are batting 188 with a 574 OPS against right-handers in the last three weeks. So I'd like to target that. Another angle that I like the Red Sox in this game is uh, they'll be facing Jose Ureña, who's a right-hander. And obviously he's a bullpen guy. He's only made six starts this year. So it's going to be a team effort for the Rangers today overall from a pitching perspective. The Red Sox are crushing righties in the last three weeks. Um, they're batting 317 with a 903 OPS versus right-handed pitching in the last three weeks. I like the chances that the Sox are going to get to Jose Arena early. And the Rangers' bullpen is one of the worst in the MLB over the entire course of this season. So I like the Sox' chance to win this game. I got them at minus 115. Red Sox money line is my first play. Pick two. I am going to go right back to Anaheim Stadium where we uh, had the Rockies money line yesterday. And we're going to go right back to that stadium again today. It's Mets at the Angels. Pitching matchup for that one is going to be Tyler Anderson on the bump for the Angels against Paul Blackburn, who makes his debut for the New York Mets this season. And Paul Blackburn hasn't had – he's only had uh, – I believe nine starts this year. It's a small sample size. He's been injured. Um, and his last start was against the Angels, actually, about a week ago, um, in which he gave up four earned runs. I think he's going to bounce back. I um, think he's got a good chance to do that, especially when the Angels are batting 225 against right handed pitchers in the last three weeks with a 626 OPS. So the Angels do not hit righties well, and that's been a common theme the entire year. So I think Paul Blackburn has a good chance to bounce back today. And then I obviously love the Mets lineup um, in terms of how hot they are right now. They're one of the hottest teams in Major League Baseball. Tyler Anderson, in his last three starts for the Angels, has gone 18 innings, and he's allowed 13 earned runs. So his numbers do look good on the surface. Yeah, surface level, those numbers look good. But he's going to be facing a very tough Mets lineup today. And Tyler Anderson has been pretty bad recently. So I feel good about fading the Angels in a game where there's going to be a lot of Mets fans in that building tonight as well. And they're going to have a lot of support. And it's one team in the Mets who are trying to make a push for the postseason. And then it's another team in the Angels who are... I mean, this, you know, look at our lineup right now. Uh, we just had Trout announced out for the season. Uh, we got a bunch of AAA guys in this lineup. It just doesn't look good. So I am on the Mets minus one and a half here at plus 115. Uh, I believe it's a pretty good play at plus money. Um, so uh, fading the Angels for a second night in a row. We'll see how that goes. And then the third play that I'm going to be looking at, it's the Rockies at the Padres. And the pitching matchup for this one is going to be Austin Gomber for the Rockies. 
taking on Randy Vasquez for the Padres. Two pitchers who have been pretty, pretty bad. Let's just be honest. Let's just say it how it is. They haven't been good this year. Austin Gomber, 109 innings. His ERA is up there near five. He hasn't, he doesn't walk a lot of guys, but the strikeouts just aren't there at all. And this Padres lineup's been hitting the ball. They're getting hot right now. Padres have won nine of their last 10 games. They're scoring runs. Um, so another thing is Austin Gomber in his last three starts, he's gone 14 innings and he's allowed 11 earned runs. So he comes in to this start in pretty bad shape all, over his last three starts. Randy Vasquez has started two games this year against Colorado already. This is going to be his third start of the year against Colorado. And those first two starts against the Rockies did not go very well. Let's just say it how it is. In those two starts, he went a combined six innings and he gave up nine earned runs. So did not go well for Randy Vasquez when he faced the Rockies earlier this year. Also, the Rockies are hitting 270 with an 830 OPS as a team versus right-handed pitching in the last three weeks. So they've been hitting righties the last three weeks. And the Padres have actually started to hit lefties much better um, over these last three weeks. They're batting 266 with a 781 OPS versus left-handed pitching in the last three weeks, much better than the way they started the season. So I'm expecting, also one more thing, the Rockies have the worst bullpen in the Major League Baseball. So all these point to one bet, and that's going to be the over of eight and a half runs. I think um, we should get there fairly easily. So those are my three plays for today. Just going to run them down really quickly one more time for you. It'll be Red Sox money line. It'll be Mets minus one and a half. And it will be the over eight and a half runs in the Rockies at the Padres. Those are my three plays for today. Uh, good luck to all you guys out there. Uh, share your plays uh, in the comments. And uh, let's make some money out there today on this Friday. Have a good day.